This video explains how to replicate certain data objects using the replicate function in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In the first example of this tutorial, I want to show you how to apply the replicate function to create duplicates of a certain value. And we can do that as you can see in line two of the code. So in this line of code, I'm applying the replicate function and within this function, I'm specifying two values. And the first value is telling the replicate function how often another value should be repeated. And the second value is the value that I want to repeat. So in this case, I want to replicate the value one, six times. So after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that a new vector object is returned, which contains the value one, six times. It is also possible to apply the replicate function to other functions. And I want to show you that in the next example, starting in line four of the code. So as a first step, I'm creating a user defined function that I want to insert later on in the replicate function. And we can do that as you can see in lines four to six of the code. So in this function, I'm specifying that I want to apply the runif function, and then I want to add to this the value 10. So after running lines four to six of the code, you can see at the top right that the new function myFun is appearing. And now we can apply this function. However, since this function contains a random generation process, I first want to set a random seed, as you can see in line eight of the code for reproducibility. And then in line 10 of the code, I'm applying the replicate function. Within the function, I'm telling that I want to apply my user defined function three times. And then I'm specifying my user defined function, my fun. So after running line 10 of the code, you can see that three outputs are returned and each of these outputs is corresponding to one application of my user defined function. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.